Miss Baby Girl, and I'm speaking with Elva Palmer. And Elva Palmer, um, give us your story about actually what happened because you came to us at Street Noise Radio about your situation. Well, about it's been about five years ago now, close to six, that Christine Montgomery burned up her car, literally burned it up, and she laid it on me. I had a co-defendant, but I won't say her name, and we spent a lot of time in prison, four and a half years locked up for something we didn't do. And I, they took a nine-year-old child's word, which was Christine Montgomery's son. I won't give his name, because he's a minor. The, uh, we did four and a half years for something that she lied about and got her son to get up on the stand and lie about. And we didn't have a good lawyer, so we got fried. He, all of our evidence we had against her couldn't be used because he didn't record it through the court system. He never talked to none of our witnesses before the trial. So therefore, when they got up on the stand and say what they needed to say, the DA shut them up because there was no record of it. Okay, now, where actually did this happen at? It happened in Franklin, Georgia. In Franklin, Georgia. What year did this occur? In 2000. I think it was 2005. 2005? I believe it was 2005. Now, where did you serve your prison time at? Pulaski State Prison. Now, before you went to Pulaski State Prison and served time, actually, what happened on this day before you was accused of, of of this terrorist act um they came to my house and asked me if they could search my house and asked me if i would go down to the, sh the search department and write a statement i said sure went down there to write my statement and tell them what happened and ron brown was the investigator there at the time at the herd county um, search department and he told me he said we're going to make some arrest and it looks like you might be it, but you need to tell us who did it. If you didn't do it, you need to tell us who did. I told him, I said, I don't know nothing about Christine Montgomery's car. That's my husband's, Don Palmer's sister. I told him, I said, I don't know nothing about her car. I don't have no reason to know nothing about her car. Mm -hmm. He said, well, somebody burned it up. We need to know how it ignited without a key. Now, did they say that this was an act of terrorism or this was an act of arsenic? Both. Okay, so what did you get charged with? Um, terroristic threats and arsenic. Okay, why did they assume that you were the one that did these um, terrorist acts and arsonist acts to this vehicle or to the property that they're claiming that you did, but you end up serving time? Because my co-defendant and I were the last one seen in her house. But if they would have investigated and looked at my alibi, they didn't even ask me if I had an alibi. They never even checked it out. They never asked my husband where I was or anything. Um, I was at home. With my husband at the time that she burned up her car, we was watching the fire department. Now, who burned up their car? My, hus my husband's sister, Christine Montgomery. Okay, she the one who burnt up her car. Right. Fire. Okay. His, now, his sister that lived right across from them seen her outside by her car while it was burning, and they tried to get her to get away from it, and she wouldn't even move. But like I said, we couldn't use no evidence against her because my lawyer never talked to no witnesses, never talked to anybody but us. So, okay, so this sister who burnt up her car... She just automatically, did she contact the police? I mean, how did the She said she tried to call the police department and fire department and tell them the car was on fire, and they told her the line, and she said the line was busy. The fire department line was busy? Yeah. Okay, so the fire department is in what county? In Heard County. And that's in Atlanta? No. In Georgia? In Georgia. Franklin, in Georgia. Georgia. Franklin, Georgia. Okay, so she stated that she called the fire department, but the line was busy. She couldn't get through. Right. So then what happened? Her brother-in-law is the one that called the fire department. And like I said, we uh, they all got up and went and tried to witness for me, but there was no record, record of it, so... Like we couldn't use okay, what, what do you mean a record of it? Okay, was this during the time the car was burning or after the car was after, burning? Afterwards. But, uh, like I said, he called the fire department and told them that the car was on fire. And they tried to get her to get away from the car. Mm -hmm. And she had her son out there by the car, too. And during her, the trial, she got up on the stand and said she wasn't even outside. But people saw her outside. People saw her so outside. The, so basically you're saying that the police department didn't do a thorough investigation. They sure didn't. They just come straight to you based on what this woman said without investigating and just automatically just assume that you were the person that set this woman's car on fire. Yes. You're saying that you didn't have any involvement in it. You had no, no idea what was going on. Mm -mm. So you're stating that you were at home when this occurred, but the police only comes to you with the story you have no idea what's going on and the police didn't go around in the neighborhood talk no. to anyone in the neighborhood they let her in fact the day she uh, burned up her car they let her haul her car off the same day without thoroughly investigating how long from where 
her house. She called a uh, tow truck to come pull the car out away from her house. And they didn't even investigate it to see what set the car on fire or anything. Okay, so they didn't have people come out to do it? No, a not a thorough investigation, no. Oh, wow. And so they just come to you and say you're going to jail? Yeah. Because a nine-year-old boy said he seen me going through the woods with a torch. What's a torch? It's a thing that my husband was a plumber. Okay. So he had a like a torch, you know, that you can light to um, use on pipes and stuff to make oh. them seal. Oh, okay. Okay. So that even the torch poor thing went to jail for something it didn't even do because it never even left my house. Oh my God. So it spent more time in jail than I did. <laughs> and it's still sitting there. The the torch. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so you served four and a half years um, in prison for a crime that you did not commit. Right. Okay, now, so during those four and a half years, what act, I mean, have you talked and spoken with the lady that accused you, which no, is your sister? No, we're not allowed to have any contact with her whatsoever. I mean, you didn't make any contact with the, the other authorities asking them, can you investigate this further? Can you speak to the lady or? She, they tried to, but she still denied it, even when we went for the appeal. Mm -hmm. She denies everything. Oh, okay. And now, whenever we went to the appeal, we won the appeal. They just dropped it down from first degree arson to second degree. And they also said we had to pay her restitution when I first got locked up. But God forbid, I asked God to help me. I said, because Lord, I don't want to pay her no restitution. Right. Which between the two of us, me and my co-defendant, would have been $2,500 a piece. But when they vacated the arson... It dropped, uh, it dropped the restitution. We don't have to pay her no restitution. Okay, so where does the terrorist, the act of terrorism come in at? Because it was a fire that was outside, and it burned up the carport. That's why I said it was terroristic. So because it could have burned the house. Okay. The only thing that saved the house was the carport. So do you, do you have any idea who could have done this to, to the vehicle? or to Christine the Montgomery herself. Okay, why do, you, I mean, why do you think that she would just accuse you, and why do you think that she may have done it? Well, it's because they were having problems over the mother's house that she wanted from my husband. My, in fact, my husband committed suicide while I was in prison, which okay. is her brother. Yeah, you did tell me that, um, that he had committed suicide. I'm sorry to hear that. But at the same time, they're telling you you cannot have any contact with this person, uh -uh. which is your sister-in-law, who accused you. But did they go back and say, well, look, we found out some evidence that this woman... Um, didn't commit these crimes or anything like that. No. Have you talked to anyone else about this story? Only my lawyer. And they said, you know, after we got run the pill, there's nothing else I could do about okay. it. And I was asking you, what religion background were you? I mean, Apostolic you, holiness. Okay. Now explain that to me because I was asking you, have you talked to your pastor, preachers? No, because um, I wasn't going to church at that time. Okay, because really I was asking you, um, you know, sometimes you can talk to them and they can have someone investigate the story. No, because I never went to church here in, in Georgia. I hate to say it, but it's true. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. Now, okay, now based on the facts of you serving four and a half times, what did you learn out of those four and a half years of serving time for a crime that you did not commit and you're saying that you're innocent? It taught me a lot because one thing is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. you got to let it go so God will bless you. So if you don't forgive others, God won't forgive you. So do you forgive the woman that lied on you and stated that these false allegations that you had done these criminal acts, do you forgive her for... Yes, I do. Okay. And you, and you stated that they told you that uh, if you made any contact with her, what would that be called? Oh, man, I, that's breaking my parole. I'd automatically go back to jail if they could prove I talked to her. Oh, really? Because they can say that it's some type of threat that you're threatening? She could say anything. And who's to say she lied on me about this? Who's to mm -hmm. say what else she would do? Okay, they so tell me not to give her an inch because she might take a foot. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that the police department didn't act on the situation correctly by doing the right procedures in investigating the story. Exactly. On this. But you were charged with terrorist acts and arsoning, both charges, right? Right. Okay, so you're saying that they dropped the charges from first degree? To second degree. To second degree. I don't know how the court system works or anything or these, these names or don't anything. Only, don't ask me. I because I know that certain terrorists... I've never been in trouble before in my life. And, and see, that, that's another thing they have should have checked out. Now, th there were some ongoing issues with your sister-in-law in her past life. Um, I remember you talking to me about... Yeah. Okay, now, did they even investigate those stories or anything? They said history? they did, but who's to say they really do? We found out after I got locked up, it was brought out during my trial that she burned up another house. <gasps> my my sister, my sister, Her sisters got up on the stand and told it that she also burned up another house. So the sister-in-law that accused you, her sister, 
her sisters got up on the stand and told 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 the court that the one that accused you burnt up someone's house burnt up her own house burnt up her own house so what happened with that don't know okay you don't know an outcome of that case or mm -mm. situation or anything like that uh -uh. okay so did you ever seek any type of um how can i'm trying to find the right terms to use as to to settle to um see if you can have that ruling overturned against you um, against uh, from the state or the prosecutors I have no idea because I, I just I've been out a year and I don't know nothing about the system either because I, like I said I've never been in trouble before mm -hmm. and I've never had too much respect for the police anyway and now I sure well, you say that there, some there are some really good officers out there there are some really good people out there they're really well, doing honestly, a good job I haven't met good ones and, and I'm sorry to hear that you went through what you went through because the police the police officers refused to do a thorough investigation they basically went off the hearsay oh this nine-year-old said they seen her walking with a torch in her hand your husband's a your husband who committed suicide was a plumber and everything so now that you have um, gotten out of prison how have you gotten your life back together I still haven't really you still haven't gotten your life back together? No. It just seemed like it's taken me forever. Because okay. I lost the man that I really loved. Mm -hmm. He was the love of my life. Now, why did your husband commit suicide? Do you have any idea? Because he didn't stand by me like he should have. Why you say he didn't stand like you? Um, I really don't want to say that over here. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. But I, and once again, sorry about the loss of your husband. Thank you. Okay. Now, at the same time, and you're welcome. Now, at, and at the same time, I mean, have you thought about ever, like, I mean, if you can get investigators to go out there and investigate this woman who burnt up her car, then accused you. Now she also burnt up her home while you were locked up in prison, and they still haven't done anything about well, that. Well, she didn't lock it, burn up her car while, I mean, burn up her home while I was in prison. That happened several years ago, and they didn't really investigate it. She was married to her first husband at that time. Oh, okay. And But this car situation, kind of found out when she burned up her car, my husband's car was sitting right next to it, and we didn't know it until later that his car had burned up, too. So did and he didn't have insurance on his. She had insurance on hers. Okay, so you're saying that she burnt up her car probably for insurance. Right. right? Yeah. Oh, okay, for the insurance. Because she still owed five payments on her car, and it hadn't ran in over a year. So she wanted the insurance payment, which she got 5000 from that. And after me and my co-defendant was locked up for about a year, mm -hmm. she got $5,600 from Crime Stoppers for turning into arsonist. Okay, but, but these are, but the arsonists that she turned in, are they, are they talking about you? Me and my co-defendant. Okay, they turned you guys in saying that you're arsonist? Mm-hmm. So that they can collect the insurance money? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, auto insurance money. Yeah. Okay, so did the insurance got, company ever investigate this story? If they had her, they would have come talk to us, and they didn't even talk to us. So did they pay her some money? Yeah, or? she got $5,000. That's what I told you. She got $5,000 from the car insurance company and got $5,600 from Crime Stoppers. It was, she was in the newspaper. The son was holding a $5,600 check in his hand. Oh, to That's how we found out because it was in the newspaper, and it came to us to jail. They showed us when the jailers got the paper and showed us, said, look, they got more money. We're oh. going, Whoa. But her county jail treated us like queens because they didn't believe we did it either, but there wasn't nothing they could do about right. it. Right, there wasn't nothing basically they can do about it. it. You guys were hands. Right, you guys were sentenced. And, and we made history. We made the first trustees there in her county jail. What, what does that mean? We were trustees. We could, you know, we were white. We didn't have to wear the orange color all the time, and we got more privileges. Okay, I don't mean to laugh it's when you okay. say that, but you know, because I have orange coveralls, even though I never, I don't, I love the cover, I always wore coveralls. But it gets tiresome wearing orange, you, know, you get tired of feeling like a pumpkin I all didn't, the time. I, did, I didn't know that the orange color represent a prison, because I wear, different, I, I, I wear different type of coveralls, <laughs> from black to blues to orange, grays, whites, yeah. whatever, and that's just a fashion style for me. Right. And I used to work in aviation, as I told you, for right. like 10 to 11 years. But okay.